this morning around 4.10 to the songs of a lonely cat outside our window. And uh, now here I am, ready to start the day. Feeling hungry, might have some breakfast. Turkey breast and vegetables. Sumi's famous beef jerky. So I'm gonna nibble some beef jerky for breakfast. Another cool but dry morning, a little bit overcast, uh, quite pleasant breeze. On my way to work, 6 a.m. I have a CrossFit intro with Joanna. At 8 a.m. I have Team Hollywood coming in for some personal training. 10 a.m. I'm covering a shift for Emily, who's at the games competing. Good luck, team. And uh, then at 11 a.m., I'm going to go have lunch with Pirate Socks, who was the winner of our little lick, Name That Liquor contest. Uh, she got closest to naming all 21 liquors in that video. Good job, Pirate Socks. And after that, I'm going to take transit downtown for my son's uh, tournament, his final day of camp, and so I'm going to be there to cheer him on. He won his last tournament, um, though the kids this time look to be 14, 15 years old. My son's only nine, almost nine. Whoa, skunk alert. I've got a skunk in my path. All right, he was starting to look a little bit aggressive. A conversation with a client yesterday really made me think a little bit about uh, human nature and how it sometimes stops us from enjoying full health and well-being. Humans are strange. We're so invested sometimes in being right and in our way being right that we're willing to sacrifice our good health to be right. When you think about it, more than 70% of people in industrialized nations are dying of cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes. And yet we're so invested in being right, we're not willing to change what we're doing right now. That's how my conversation went yesterday with my client. who despite having high blood pressure is living a life of a vegetarian. So for those of you who don't get it, hyperinsulinemia, chronically elevated levels of insulin, is associated with risks such as high blood pressure, obesity, diabetes, syndrome X, etc. The consumption of carbohydrates is key in raising insulin levels in the body. So if you were looking to reduce your blood pressure, the last thing you'd want to do is have a diet based primarily on carbohydrates. But you know, and I understand it's difficult. I was a vegetarian for 15 years, and I was very invested in being right. But at some point, I had to face the fact that that wasn't working for me. And I took on the possibility that maybe something different would work better. Much to my disappointment, it did. <laughs> Not disappointed to get the results, disappointed to find out I had to change the way I was living my life if I wanted to have those results. But in the end, the results have been worth it for me, and it was worth admitting that I was wrong for 15 years. Not proud of it, but there it is. I think what CrossFit is about. CrossFit's not about ideology, though a lot of people seem to get that mistaken impression. We're not ideologues. We're not married to the methodology. We're married to results. And CrossFit is about testable, measurable results. If you can show us a different method that will get us better results, that will become the backbone of what we do nutritionally, 
and physiologically in our training. I think that's what attracted me to CrossFit and uh, the continued evolution of CrossFit has kept me fascinated as I see better and better and better results. Yeah, what are you willing to do to have the health, the performance, the well-being that is your birthright? Are you willing to admit being wrong? Are you willing to accept the possibility that there might be a better way? Are you willing to try it out and look at the results with an open mind? Most people aren't. Sadly, most people aren't. Most people would rather get sick and die before they admit that they were wrong. How about you? The other piece that appeals to me in CrossFit is the culture of empowerment. We're a community of people who believe that we can find the answers for our own good health and performance. We believe that they're out there, and by trial and error we can find them. We can improve our health by the choices we make. This is in contrast, I think, the idea that there's nothing I can do about this, that's just my bad genetics, or that without medication prescribed by the doctors, I can't get well, and makes us increasingly dependent upon doctors and pharmaceuticals instead of allowing us to look at our lifestyle factors that may be contributing to our problems. So that's something inside CrossFit that attracts a certain type of person, a type of person who wants to take responsibility for themselves, who wants to be held accountable for their actions, who understands that uh, they will reap the consequences of the actions that they take. And personally, I find that comforting. I prefer to believe that uh, my destiny, my health, is in my hands and that I'm the one responsible for it. I'm not a victim and I'm not dependent on somebody else in order to have a life of health and well-being and to lead a life that I love. CrossFit is about making you powerful about giving you the power. That's why CrossFit Empowerment is a name I picked for my company. Coaching for me isn't about helping you. It's not about you listening to me. It's about giving you access to the ideas and information that you need to make the right decisions for your life. To put the power back in your hands. I want to give you access to the tools that you need to have the life that you want because that's what CrossFit has done for me. I just finished doing an introduction for uh, a nice new young lady for CrossFit Vancouver and I just did personal training with uh, Brendan of Team Hollywood, the badass. Actually I jumped in with them, did some box squats together and uh, now it's 9 a.m. time for me to eat and I'm up here in the office with Terry Lynn. We're watching the CrossFit Games. Yeah. Streaming live online right now, uh, looking at the women's first event. Uh, men's have wrapped up, men's individual, and we're hoping to see the team event so we can cheer on CrossFit Vancouver. Here's what I'm going to eat while we watch. This is the turkey and vegetable you might have seen last night. A prune, some multivitamins, and my coconut milk. So here I am with uh, Pirate Socks. <laughs> She's the winner of our Name That Liquor competition, so I'm gonna take her out for lunch. I don't know what we're gonna eat. We're both paleo challenge, so we'll see what we're gonna eat. So I just finished a nice lunch with Liz, and uh, yeah, we actually did pretty well with the paleo right here on the drive. I had a burger with bacon and vegetables and no bun and no cheese and a salad to go with that. And Liz had some pulled pork. Um, didn't have the sandwich, just the pulled pork from inside and a salad, and it was really good. Actually, a really nice meal and great conversation. And uh, now I'm off to Kalen's sword tournament. So I'm gonna jump on the sky train here, get myself downtown, and watch my boy beat other boys over the head with a stick. All right. So I should have probably checked the time before I jumped on the sky train to go downtown. Ended up down at the sword school one hour early. Anyhow, so I decided to walk back to Olympic Village here. 
just across the water, go meet up with my mom so she and I can sky train in together to see Kaylin's tournament. And Sung he's gonna try to rendezvous with me at my mom's place so we can go down there together. So I'm gonna get a little bit of exercise, a nice walk in the sun instead of standing around downtown waiting. Uh, I think it'll be better for me. So when my mom Sung Hee and I were taking the sky train down um, to downtown, to Kaylin's tournament, we ran into my mother and father-in-law, the Kim, so we grabbed them and they're coming here with us now too and we're all gonna watch Kaylin compete. And uh, Princess, who you may recognize, is here watching as well. So uh, we're gonna have a whole family cheering Kaylin on. It's about uh, 2.40. I'm having my beef jerky. I'm going to have some coconut milk, the leftover coconut milk from earlier, while I watch Caitlin's tournament. Well, we're finished Kaylin's uh, tournament and now we're all walking home. <laughs> so here we are at White Spot preparing for a family dinner. Alright, so here's my paleo meal. It's um, uh, grilled chicken and salad. And there's some blueberries in there, which I like. Now, you want to talk about torture? Look at this. This is my suffering. So only another 148 days without being able to have some mashed potato or some fish and chips or beer. Sunghi reminds me not to forget about the beer. Uh, thanks, Mom. Okay, so Sunghi brought me to Whole Foods, which is a dangerous thing to do when you're hungry. And we've got some raspberries and some blueberries. It's now about 7.40. We're gonna nibble on some chicken. Some berries, we got raspberries and blueberries that are fresh, local. And I'm gonna try out the macadamia nuts. Now for those of you paying attention, uh, last time I tried reintroducing nuts, it didn't go well for me. Mind you, I didn't try just one type of nut. I tried a whole bunch at a time. Here's my prayer. If there's a God, please hear me. Let macadamia nuts work. I can live without all the others, but please leave the macadamia nuts for me. So I'm going to try it. We're going to see what happens. We'll see if uh, it triggers an autoimmune response, if my allergies come back in force, or if they'll be good. All right. Wish me luck. Well, it's been a very full day. Um, all told, I think I walked about two hours worth outside in the sunshine, which is nice. Got to do a little bit of uh, light dynamic box squats with uh, the badass. Got to work a bit today, watch some of the games events and standings and uh, across Vancouver. Um, our team stands in 10th place at the end of today's competition. Had really, really strong showings in the first two events. Um, dropped our place a little bit in the third event, which was strength-oriented across Vancouver. I predict Widowmakers in our near future. And, uh, yeah, had quite a few good meals and time to socialize with friends and family, uh, as well as watching my son compete. Um, yeah. So it was a, a very full day, early start, late finish, and uh, looking forward to uh, helping John and Alona move the Taskmaster and Mello, helping them move their residence tomorrow. <laughs>